Hi there, Dixon13 here. I've noticed recently on the, recently on the internet that uh, there isn't a lot of material as far as how to make you know your missions um, with CBA. And when I say make them with CBA, I mean like utilizing you know this the macros library and you know and all that. So there is a lot of guides and tutorials about how to make your mod with you know utilizing CBA, but not a lot of material how to make it with missions so they do provide CBA does provide some information about you know including their macros library in your mission file um, they have to they use a separate file because they change some things in that file so that you don't have to um, because uh, the the things that were they were changing before was specifically for like um, mod you know and um, something that would be in your game folder rather than be in the mission you know and they have to change that a little bit um, the file paths and some other things but um, recently I've been working on a mission it's I've called it insurgency redux it's just like an insurgency mission I just wrote it from you know the ground up um, and I've actually learned a lot about CBA through this and um, you know found out myself how to utilize the macros library um, and uh, extended events handlers um, so let's just dump, jump right into this so the good thing about using CBA I'm from you know making this mission is a uh, modular programming style um, so I'll, I'll explain that here in a second but I'll get let me uh, just kind of show you this mission um, this mission is made with just you know, in mostly this mission is made to be thrown, you know, this folder right here is mostly made so that you throw it in somewhere else and um, boom, you know, it practically it'll work. You know, not really necessary. A lot of editing is needed. It's just made to be thrown into a file and made to work practically. Um, the only thing you need to do, to do is uh, go into init.sqf and uh, include it in your um, or call the file you know and mine here is ins main in Adasio. that's it boom you just call it and it works um, oh and then include my description in the description.exe so here it is my description.exe and I just include it um, and my description.hpp file is um, in under my main folder in ins and I'll explain main in a second um, <clears throat> um, I have init player local here. Uh, you don't really. I wouldn't necessarily need it, but I use it so that I can just use the preload, uh, or you know, the preload call business and see arsenal. That just like uh, preloads all the configs for arsenal. Um, so that way, when you when you're in game, you don't have to. Um, um, if you don't, let's just say, if you don't use that function, and then you go in game and you you use the arsenal crate that's when all the configs are loaded up and um, but uh, if you do it here in internet player local then you don't have then it won't you know it won't you won't do that just um, the first time use of arsenal um, okay so here this is what I've done with CBA in my work each of these is like a module each of these folders so like you can take one of these folders out and then go into like main and then init.sqf and edit the folder or edit the file so that um, you don't need to call that folder or that particular module I've called. Each folder represents a module. So you know you don't you would go into init.sqf and then change one of you know like uh, here these lines below over here. And then that would you know um, so like say you don't want to run the MHQ module then boom you just delete that or maybe you're not someone of a scripter and the way I wrote this is um, this is all changeable in the um, the uh, description so when you go in, in, in the parameter so when you go boot up the mission and you're in the lobby you click on the parameters you can change all that there too um, <clears throat> now the main thing that I've found that has blown my mind and helped me so much now, BI recently did some changes with um, their preprocessor. Um, 
in the includes um, file before you could not um, where's it at here you could not reference the parent directory until 1.49 right here was a huge change um, after that so before I was starting to make this mission with CBA before 1.49 um, and it was kind of uh, a pain in the butt honestly um, so I have a, a few custom macros I've defined and they're here so in the these macros were um, so this whole thing was in, uh, each uh, script component file here and uh, it was kind of like unnecessary you know because I mean it wasn't unnecessary it was just a lot of more lines of code and more um, lines of code in your file making your file bigger right now I'm trying to make this as minuscule as possible to, so people don't have to download a huge file and um, the preprocessor doesn't have to do a lot of work you know um, <clears throat> and uh, by the way the script component file I use in every file so like I'll uh, include it so here in the end of SQF um, and that's how you use the CBA macros is uh, you use so you have to at some point include the script component file that, and then my, in my script component file I define these um, component, and then I, this is a separate file. I'll explain that in a second. Um, and then I define this, which is for debug, and then the script macros. And my script macros is here, and this will this gets the uh, macros libraries um, from CBA, and then this just my own set of custom definitions um, um, so like uh, there was a few things I changed and I didn't really like or uh, just to suit my needs but anyways back on point um, but this huge change I've I saw and I was like okay wow um, this can actually do a lot so now so before what I was doing is I would put all the you know macros and all that into the script component file and then the this, this script component file would contain everything for each module right well now you don't have to do that um, the macros or um, well let's just say before there was a workaround to this where you can include your macros in the, at the beginning somewhere um, so like you could put it in a in a um, so let's say you could put your script somewhere like at the um, so let's say you could put your script here or actually you could put it like here or in main like I said before and then you could um, use um, call compile preprocess file so when you use preprocess file line numbers or uh, I'm sorry call compile preprocess file line numbers I don't want to confuse anybody because I know there is preprocess file and preprocess file numbers but uh, there literally is literally no difference except preprocess file numbers is um, in your script debug it just shows the numbers um, anyways the line number um, so <clears throat> with uh, so okay here was the workaround before I was as I was explaining you would um, include your macros uh, and define them in a file in an SQF file and then um, use com call compile preprocess file line numbers and um, point to that SQF file so let's say an init die SQF instead of this being pound include script component it would have been uh, it would have been like call compile final for uh, security reasons call compile so you don't want anybody changing that file call compile final preprocess file line numbers you know my script underscore macros sqf so and then that's how you could um, include some um, some mac custom macros right and, and put it all in one file um, hang on, my I'll be right back. My dog's working.